Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. You are officially halfway through January already. I mean, did it just go like this? I don't know if it felt really fast to you, but you know, we got a lot done in the first two weeks here in the U.S. We we uh, you know had a had riots. We you know impeached a president. Nothing's going on. Nothing's going on. <laughs> it's so much is happening right now. It's crazy. But it's also one of those very exciting times where I feel like if you manage this year to connect to your dreams, if you manage this year to really lay out what you want to achieve, that's huge. That's huge. Just getting going. As usual, I'm going to be joined by Jamie Kern Lima. I'm just waiting for your request to come in, Jamie, um, on Instagram here. I'm excited to chat with you all today about exactly What's going on in our lives? What we're trying to figure out? It was a big week for everybody, I know. Just trying to get halfway through this month, just trying to figure out what, you know, what, what, like the grounding for how we're gonna succeed this year. And I hope that you've shared your goals, your hopes, your dreams with everybody. Jamie, I've been rapping. I haven't seen your thing come through yet, Jamie, on the... Yeah, I sent it through, so hopefully it's there. Oh, now I see hopefully hello, but no request. Morning, Maybe okay. I can click on you. And I can say, maybe I'll just invite you in. There we go. Nice. It says it's waiting for you. Uh, hi, everybody. Good morning. Uh, this is the Growth Day Morning Show. We are joined by Jamie Kern Lima. Hi, good Jamie. morning. So good. So good. So good. How are you? Good. I forgot to mute my thing. I'm sorry. Hold on. I do this every day. I forget to put my earbuds in. I just, we show up, y'all, for you guys, yep. but don't pretend that we didn't already spend time this morning working, doing crazy things. It's a hot mess every day, I like to say. But it's also a good day to grow every day. I hope you're all doing well. Jamie, how you been? So good, and uh, yeah, it's an early morning. Got up, did my morning walk, all that, and uh, excited to be here and to share this morning. Start today off as a growth day with everybody, and I'm even more excited that you have your growth day mug now. <laughs> it's legit. Watch, y'all. It's legit. Come on. Find it. Right there. I finally did it. Y'all been asking. I was like, when are you going to get a growth day mug? I finally got one. Uh, we're working on a couple of designs to make them orange and white and pretty and things like that. Um, what a big week. Yeah. So we started the yeah. growth day morning show. I um, think it was, it was a big week just all around. A huge, huge week. I hit a million on Instagram. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I saw what? so many people reposting it. And um, will you share what you shared? Because I think that when we connect through the past. Because it's so meaningful. Yeah, it's uh, it's wild, y'all. A million people. That's that's more than the state I grew up in. I grew up in Montana, as you know. So that was that was pretty wild. We also hit a hundred million views on our main YouTube channel, um, which now with Facebook across it that that passed us past, I think four hundred fifty million views everywhere. So, um, and everyone's been asking about it. I just kept saying it's like, y'all, it's not really uh, obviously. You know, I'm a dork, so you don't have to be that entertaining. <laughs> what it ends up being was showing up new videos every single week for, you know, 14 years. Mm. And that's kind of what added up. And I wasn't early on Facebook. I wasn't early on Instagram, per se. I wasn't early on YouTube. It's just that when I got in there, I stayed consistent and always asked, how can we add a huge amount of value um, and just do my thing, just share our research, just share personal growth topics, just give everybody every time on, if you ever watch any of my videos online, it's always like I shared three or four things you can do in your real life, you know, for your mindset, your habits, your relationships, your health, your wealth to improve. And so it was just sharing personal improvement stuff for that many years. It, it all finally, <laughs> it compounded and uh, it's kind of stunning. Honestly, we, I, it, Emily on my team. Hi, Emily, if you're watching. Emily sent me a text or an email uh, and said, hey, you're, you're going to pass a million today on Instagram. You know, would you like some copy? Do you want an image for this or something else? And I, 
And I hadn't looked. I, I had no idea. I, I just hadn't been. I mean, if you had asked me, I thought we were around 700,000 maybe or something. I hadn't mm. looked because mm -hmm. I'm just so busy building growth day that it's been heads down. So anyway, it was exciting times. I, I want to say everyone watching, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your belief in me. Thank you for sharing the message. Thank you for your participation through all of my brands throughout the years, whether it was Experts Academy, Total Product Blueprint, High Performance Academy, HPX, Influencer, OMG, mm -hmm. all the 20 other courses we've created. And now Growth Day. And now Growth Day. So ah, the official, official, official my God. And you know, being Growth Day in the spirit of, of growing and celebrating uh, our own growth and being in like-minded community together every single morning. You know, so many people right now that are live with us uh, are, are learning. It's, it's new. They're growing into how do they post on social media? How do they show up for Zooms for a job that maybe they didn't before, right? Or how do they hold client meetings, uh, doctor's appointment? All the things are, are shifting and we're all growing in that. And I think a lot of people struggle in the space of, oh, I want to post on social. I want to share my message. I want to connect and get new clients or I want to get the word out. How do you bring the joy <laughs> in the consistency and not have things like social media uh, feel like an obligation or like a job? How mm -hmm. do you do that? Because I think, I think when it starts to feel like a job, um, it's hard to actually want to show up and be so many people right now in the chat. Good morning, everybody are typing the word consistency, right? They're talking about you growing to a million followers on Instagram through consistency and, and consistency, if it's joyful, <laughs> right, is not, it doesn't feel like a job, but if it's like, Oh, I got to think of something to say, I got it, you know, and, and then it feel, it kind of like takes the joy out of the moment. Right. So yeah. how, how for, for everyone part of growth day who's growing in this area because we i think all of us are growing in this area i have you know you and i both we have fellow growth day coaches with millions and millions of followers they're still growing in yeah. how they show up on social media but for for most people it's you know they don't necessarily want to but it's now also part of communicating with the world, of getting your business out there, your idea, your story. By the way, authors, a, a whole nother thing. But Brendan, you had shared this with me early on, and then I experienced it going to publisher meetings for the first time. Your story is one thing. How is your social media fall? How is the, right? Like everyone now is saying, okay, this needs to be part of your life no matter where you're at. And so what's your advice for, 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 feeling having feelings goals while doing it to, yeah. to use a big topic and and just for everyone who's working on building it but doesn't want that feeling of like oh another obligation well let me share two things one uh, i got two ideas about this the first one is the pain of consistency especially in social media it always comes from two things the the, the first and primary one is detachment people feel it's an obligation or a job when they're detached from the meaning of the outcome. And so if it's just, oh, I got to turn on the camera, I got to get a stupid thing, I got to comb my hair, I got to clean up the background, I, I got to get there and, and I just got to deliver and I got to do it. If it's that, it sucks. You're detached from the purpose, the meaning and the outcome. And what happens on social media, this is why tons of my friends never hit seven figures in either following or revenue is because they started thinking as an obligation, I got to serve these thousands of people and tens of thousands of people or even millions of people. And they forgot that one person watching who's like them or like their brother, their sister, or their mother, or their father, someone who needs them. You got detached from, oh, I'm talking to people. This is like a person. I always tell people, Approach social media like a phone call, like a one-on-one -on -one mm. phone call with somebody or like FaceTiming with your mom. You know, it's like one, it's like <sighs> one person. You were an influencer where I have 2,000 people at my events, right? And I'll have, I always try to do this activity where I have the, the first 100 people stand up in the front rows. And I'll say, how many of you have ever had a, only 100 people watch your video or 100 people like your post or less than that, you felt bad about it? 
and everyone raises their hand and I say, okay, well, let's, then I have the first hundred people in the front row stand up. And then I walk out and I point at them and I ask everyone in the audience to look at them and make eye contact with one of them. Mm. And I go, this is a person. I pull one person out and go, and I start talking to the person. She has a family. She's got kids. She's struggling to figure this out. She's wanting to transition as hopes and dreams, but she's insecure. Like, and all of a sudden it's like, you're, you're thinking, you're disappointed you only reached 100 person, but you reach her. Mm. So they got detached from the one-to-one -one humanness and the meaning and the purpose. That was number one. And the number two thing I will say is this, the randomness will destroy your content creation or consistency. And here's what I mean for everybody watching. And this means across everything in your life, by the way. So don't, for those who are like, I'm not doing social media. Listen, please. Randomness kills desire. Mm. It really does. We think that, oh, no, no, no. Life is in the, in, in the variety. Not when it comes to consistency over a period of time. Like if it's always a different time that you shoot the video, it's always a random day that you reply to this. It's always a random day you go to the gym. It's always a random time you won't stay consistent. And worse, because you're not consistent, it's always a last minute hustle and a hassle. And it's like, oh, I got I to quote, fit this in. And now you got to fit your video in and you're like, this sucks, I hate this. <laughs> no, no, no. You didn't develop a routine where it was just easy for you to glide into that block of time, that hour, and knock it through. So detachment is the enemy mentally and emotionally and lacking routine block times in which that's when you do it. That's the day you do it. That's the hour you do it. You hit that consistency, you show up, it becomes more familiar, more easy. You glide in, you glide out, you find flow. You know when you don't find flow? When it's mm -hmm. random every day, you gotta fit it in on top of email and taking care of the kids and feeding the thing and grabbing the duck. Ah! No, <laughs> consistency. So I have blocks of time. That's when I shoot. That, that, that filming gets done. That's the time I scheduled it. That's when it's going to happen. I show up, I glide through. And so I, ho I hope that helps. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm having a real life growth moment actually that I'll share. I you remember, so, you know, after years of building at Cosmetics uh, and hearing no from everybody, <laughs> I, I had this gut feeling, Brendan, as you know, that I was like, I know we're meant to be on QVC. And I know, which QVC is a, a live television channel that's broadcast to 100 million homes. And uh, I just knew that, that every real person watching, if they could see me live without a, 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 an ad in a magazine photoshopped or anything like that, if I, if I could show the product live and connect with them live, I knew it was going to be huge. But QVC had said no for, for years. And when we finally got a shot, which is a crazy story, um, when we finally got a shot, uh, uh, I risked everything. It's a, it's a long story. But we ended up getting five, five airings that year, 101 the next year. And I spent eight years of my life uh, doing 250 live shows a year Ooh. on QVC, right? And something you're saying, because it's reminding me of the journey of every one of us as we start to go out there. This is, as you know, growth day, um, growth, my first, this is my first week ever of live on Instagram. First week hey, in my life. Hey, you did so good. We figured <laughs> out audio. We figured out how to schedule it. We got me on the, she's on desktop. She's on her laptop for Facebook, y'all. And then she's also on Instagram Live with her phone. So you have to do this weird setup where you can look at both of them and not be looking over there. So you did a great job. Yeah. Give her a applause. Let's go, Jamie. Oh, thank you. Cheer thank her you on, everyone everybody. For their, Cheer her for on. their patience. Well, and, and also similar to what you're saying, like I read everyone's comments too. And when, and when um, every one of you guys watching posts, like I'll repost and, and the meaning, right? The meaning of why we're showing up for each other to do this together, uh, to all grow together is what makes this uh, feel not like a job, but something we want to do, right? Something that we're blessed to do. Uh, so, so yeah, first week ever live on Instagram. Uh, but, but one thing you just shared, I want to share with everyone and kind of frame it in, in a different way. Uh, also, as everyone is at different phases of this whole new digital world, right? Some people are already pros at things like social and pros at things like uh, uh, having their business go online and, and, and digital marketing and all those things. Other people are dreading it and they're showing up anyway because they feel like they have to, they want to grow. They need to chat. They see where, where things are going, but they're dreading doing social. They're dreading 
shifting their business online or, or, or maybe they're a creative person and, and they don't want to have all the things that now are the, the expectations are often placed on creative people to now, yeah. if they're artists that paint, well, you know what, you need social media and show all your art and that's how, and, and, and galleries are now online. Like there's everything shifting. So everyone's in the space and something you said is so powerful and it's connecting this to, to a memory I have of when I got to this place of 250 live shows a year on QVC, which meant, and by the way, it's 24 hours a day, right? Uh, as is social media, <laughs> uh, 24 hours a day live. And I got to this place where I struggled with feeling the day. I was so burnt out. Yeah. I knew I needed, and, and, and there were times I knew what a blessing it was to be able to walk in that building and get airtime on QVC because you can sell more in an hour on QVC than you can sell a whole year in department stores. It's but sometimes crazy. opportunity here's, and this is so important for everybody. Sometimes the opportunity of your dream still hurts. Yeah. The opportunity of your dream still brings dread. You, you mm -hmm. have this opportunity to do all these things, but it doesn't mean you're not tired that day. The, the kids okay. didn't like burp up all over the place. <laughs> you know, the dog didn't bite somebody. You're not getting, you know, mean emails or texts. It's like, we think that when we hit the land of our dreams or opportunity, like everything clears out and it's like tra -la, la flow. I'm like, oh no, everything else levels up. So what has to happen in the leveling up of difficulty and opportunity, you have to level up your mindset, your habits, mm -hmm. your peace, your wellness practices, so that it doesn't like the, the, the dread doesn't happen. It's a mental, mm -hmm. it's such a huge mental game. And it's also yeah. physical because I know you also, you were so hard on yourself and didn't take care of yourself. And, and yeah. you know, you also had extreme expectations. Jamie used to stand in front of a monitor, these QVC shows, y'all. I think this is the untold story. People don't understand how hard this is. She'd be yeah. talking direct to camera like this, right? She's selling It Cosmetics, her, her, her cosmetic line to you know, millions of households. Well, right next to her, they have this huge monitor that shows the sales and the engagement. <laughs> so in real time, she's being judged numerically, plus she's judging herself doing her performance, plus she's got to interact with the whole, it was so hard. It's why you're such a pro, but anyway, I can uh, see how that becomes so, like it can become debilitating when it's just every day, random call hours, judgment, blah, blah, blah. And I never thought of this till this live moment, but let me just make a parallel there because when people post on social, they put themselves out there or they show up with their business, they're off, they're, they're seeing numbers too, right? And, and, and it's hard not to go, oh, like to your point, a hundred people saw that versus wow, a hundred people saw yeah. that. And, and so, yeah, I was literally in the moment I mean, and, and I, it's so wild because if you try to sell, nothing sells, right? Yeah. And it's like you have to connect. And so I would walk into the building at QVC and, and there would be days where we, we finally built up to getting the Today Special Value. And so that's a 24-hour window where you have to show up 12 hours ahead of time. You meet with all the hosts. And so I wouldn't leave the building for 36 hours and I'd have wow. so many shows in that window. And it, I was so burnt out. And when I think about the, how I was able to get through it, I, I, and I want to share this with everyone because you said something that was so powerful about how to approach social media and how to approach our own growth around it. You know, I would keep a stack of letters and emails printed out and social media messages from real women, from real customers that had written in and talked about how they, they still have never bought anything, but when they watch live, like it makes them feel not alone or it makes yes. them feel um, seen or they, you know, their day is They feel your energy. They feel your yeah. energy. It's a positive pump. We hope you all feel that. If you're, if you're feeling this from us today, let us know that you enjoy this because we're trying to, our whole thing with this show is let, let's be an encouraging force in people's mornings just yes. to encourage you, share our own journey, our own stories, but also encourage you like, hey, T -t today can, you can start anew you you can choose your attitude you can feel good you can put your intentions out there you can work hard you know we keep saying every day is a great day to grow that's our growth day tagline and i think you checking into people's feedback that is positive like that was brilliant that was so good well, 
it helped me reframe everything in that moment. So I, I remember these days I would literally be so exhausted on my 10th coffee, right? Um, and, and, and my own issue. Could you of, really drink of, 10 coffees? Oh, yeah. And by oh the way, God. I get, Oh my and God. I felt Who else nothing. can drink 10 coffees? Let us know in the comments down below. <laughs> Hi, Darcy, Crystal. I see you on Facebook. And Sarah, I see you. I saw Jenna yes. with us again. Hi, Jenna Kutcher. Okay, Follow her. Jenna. We love her. Growth Day Coach. And also just Jenna's a huge friend inspiration. Hi, Carla. Hi, everybody. If, you, if I drink, okay, y'all. Like, this is me on decaf. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how annoying I would be? Okay, I went to Jamie's house and she made, tell him, what did you make me? Well, it was a, uh, it was a special uh, coffee. It was, uh, so I got some anyone, story. anyone out there, by the way, I can drink 10 coffees and go right to bed. That's how, oh that's my how God. Got. Yeah. What? Anyone, can anyone else drink coffee and you drink it so much you can go right to bed? Like that's how it, that's how a decade in my life was. So I'm working now. I cut oh it my God. in the day. Yeah. I mean, 10 okay. coffees. So okay. Brendan so we go, I, over. I, I come to her house. You have to tell, tell them what you made me and I'm going to tell everyone my response to it. Okay. Okay, you, you do your okay, you do your response because if I do it, I'll probably like laugh so hard. Okay. Oh, so, God. so um and by the way, K cups. Anyone else out there love K cups? Uh I love any new if you have new flavor recommendations, I just do the pure coffee ones, not the ones that have You have to tell them what cake you have to tell people what K cups are because there's people oh, like yeah, me who so, have no idea what that means. Who have no idea. I didn't um, know you taught so, me. I didn't know what that was until I was at your house. I didn't know what that was a thing. Yeah. So it's a, a Keurig machine, right? So it's super fast. And, you know, I grew up with, you know, a family that did a full coffee pot of Folgers. Anyone else grew up with Folgers or, you know, just. My dad and drank now Folgers. They, yeah. Did your dad drink Folgers? Um, and now, now they have the Keurig machine. So you just put one pot in, right? And they have other, other ones as well, Nespresso and other things like that. But I have the Keurig one. I think I got it on QVC, by the way. And you, you just put in <laughs> a pod, and then it makes you a cup of coffee. And so I have a whole Keurig drawer. Um, and it's like I get so happy. If you see my cupboard right now, I pull out every day, several times a day, it's an issue. I pull out and I have all the Keurig K cups of all the different flavors, and I have my HPX supplements on the shelf above, and then Wonder Sippy cups, and then all my coffee mugs. Anyways, pull it out, and I get <laughs> so happy because there's all these different flavors. Anyways, so okay, Brendan so was she over. makes me a flavor. It's uh... butter toffee. Do you remember? And you're butter like, toffee. Butter toffee, and then I made you. Yeah, it was it was a. Uh, I can't. Remember, I don't even remember the brand name, but it, I think Gloria's okay. or something. But so butter something, toffee. I, so I have to tell you all my response to this thing because here's what happens. Uh, I only uh, like at at home uh, in the last maybe two three years. I started having coffee because Denise and I went to Paris, and they were serving these little espressos with everything, and I just got. I love that flavor. I was like, this is amazing. But usually I'm a decaf person or maybe half calf, but also like split it into two and have one in the morning. Like I'm sense, I'm very sensitive to caffeine. So I'm, I'm getting better at it. But anyway, I met Jamie. She makes me this butter coffee yeah. thing. Butter toffee, butter toffee. Butter, a yeah. butter toffee flavor. Yeah. So, and by the way, y'all, we're supposed to be, I'm already nervous because I'm meeting Jamie for the first time and I'm in her house and she's like this extraordinarily successful person and I'd want to do a good job for her. I'm, I'm kind of helping her with some things. I want to do good. So I'm trying to be focused, but I've been on the road, I'm tired, but on the road, I don't, I don't drink coffee almost ever. I might have green tea, but I never drink coffee. So anyway, she makes me this and we're talking and like maybe 15, 20 minutes later, I don't know if I ever told you this, this is really embarrassing, but we're like, we're writing things and all of a sudden I just start sweating. I just start sweating, the caffeine <laughs> hits me, I just start sweating and I get super conscious about it because we're also sitting in your house and there's all the light is coming in and it's in California, it's hot in there and I just start sweating and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I hope I can get through this day without making a fool of myself. Anyway, that's how I felt. <laughs> okay, I didn't even know you were gonna share that. I, I just turned notice. up, I just, the coffee turned me up. I gotta be careful, man. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know. This is water, y'all, look at, look at, look at. This is my coffee cup. People don't believe me when I say I'm really, this is, this is water, okay? Um. <laughs> full, full coffee. Um, I didn't even notice you sweating. I noticed <laughs> you were so excited, like the way that you looked at this, this butter toffee coffee. <laughs> Wow. It was like, it reminds me, um, cause I'm used to seeing you like, I don't know, coaching 
freaking presidents and build all you know millions of people all this stuff at oprah everyone else that you coach <laughs> and then i see you literally reminding me of my daughter wonder because you're ha you have this coffee and you're like you're like this is so good what is <laughs> like you it was like a little kid seeing something for the first time and it was like oh. it was like the literally the wonder of it and i just that's the part i remember that's what i thought you were going to share is how you were so just I guess you're feeling, you feel the day, you are feeling the coffee. I was um, feeling the I coffee. I you're sweating. I would have been traveling. Um, so the good, the good thing is if you don't, ha here's what I tell people all the time. Uh, a lot of the people I do coach, I say, if you're sparse on the coffee, you know, maybe do half calf or just decaf if you're a coffee person. Or do, if you do green teas, do, do, do lighter um, uh, caffeine levels. Because here's what the great thing is. When you do that, your body the andesine receptors in your brain doesn't become conditioned to them as much, which means when you need genuine performance boost, mm. like you can have, like for me, I, if I have half a coffee, I'll do a three hour live, no problem, nonstop, smart, rocking for three hours. And, you know, or if I do a three hour, four hour live, I get halfway through, I have a little sip of something, I can finish the next three hours. So in other words, Caffeine doesn't give you a performance boost if you regularly use it, uh, at least not in a noticeable type of way. It also can hurt um, sleep. But uh, yeah. if you, like you blew out your brains with 10 cups of coffee, that's why yeah. you can go to bed and sleep because it doesn't even mean anything to you. It, like you, you don't even have endocene reception. You blew them all away so it doesn't affect you at all. That's yeah, and it's, it's, it's literally one thing I'm working to undo. And, um, but, you know, one thing, too, just to, just to wrap this up and share, because I really think maybe this will also help other people grow as they're growing in social media. Just to go back to the QVC green room for a second, after the 10 coffees all day, Brendan, I would read those letters, right, from customers. Mm -hmm. And all of the different things they would share, what it did, because I'd be feeling so exhausted, dreading, to use your word, dread, I would dread. I knew it was a gift to be able to walk out, get live airtime. I mean, sell so much. I mean, all the things, right, for my business side. But personally, in my heart, in my body, I was dreading it like an obligation. And I know because I read all of your guys' comments, so many of you are in that space of dreading posting or dreading, you know, the, the work you're putting out to the world and showing up that way. And you just, you hit something home for me so big, and I just want to share it those years of reading those letters, right? Sitting in the green room, what would happen to me physically in my body when I would read these letters, I would realize and re-realize and reframe, oh, me going out on air right now, live to a hundred million homes. It's not about me. It's not about me because when it's about me, it's not enough. I dread mm -hmm. it. I don't want it. You know what I mean? When I go through the letters and I, I read each person's story and how it impacts them and that kind of thing, I remember, I remember, oh, it's not about me. And what I'm doing is actually mattering to someone else and often not even to the people buying. It's like the, just yeah. the people watching, right? And, 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 and so I just want to share that because you said that. I feel like if, if every one of us who's sort of, you know, every person – part of this live with us right now and throughout the day rewatching and all of that even just if we took social media right because yeah like we, we're reading we, like maybe you tell me like we've been reading your comments y'all all week to see yeah do people like this growth day morning show do they like me and jamie <laughs> together do you, i mean if you do yeah. give us shout outs because it, it's like we're 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 experimenting and you all you all are directing like our efforts here like do we love this yeah. is it good and i also think it's important um say this, Jamie, because it wasn't about the number of letters you got. It's not about the number, because I think a lot of our friends, you know, we hear this all the time, they get, you know, 10 negative comments, but one of them said, that changed my life. And yeah. they can't focus on the, like for me, my whole day, when I read anything, I'm looking for that. One person says, that changed my life. And when someone says, that changed my life, I go, I'm on mission. I'm on purpose. It hurt today. I was tired today, but that changed that person's life. And that person's going to change their family's life or those who they lead or those who they yes. serve. Maybe one day they have this impact. You don't know your ripple effect. And here's yes. what I tell people. The ripple effect of negative comments is dead right there. That person yeah. complains and guess what? It dies right there because then they go complain about the next 10 people because they're just a complainer. 
But the person who says, you changed my life, that ripple effect is generational. Yeah. So it's not about 100 perfect comments. It's for me, I get that one person and I'm lit up and I'm like, got it. We changed how they felt that day. We gave them a new mindset, a new habit, a new way to approach life. And that shifted how they treat their family and their team. And we're on. And that, that, that motivates me uh, more than coffee. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, well, me too. Me too. It's how I transformed it from an, feeling like an obligation or, or dread into like, oh, yeah, this isn't about me. Like if, 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 if and I would imagine I would read the stories and, and then I would imagine every woman sitting at home. And if she's going to bless me with 10 seconds at her precious time, like, let me, yeah. let me show up for her. Right. And I think maybe everyone something to grow maybe today, maybe over the weekend is even just taking a few minutes and thinking about how you show up when you do have to post, when you get to post or when you're doing something online or when you're putting your work out there to the world. And maybe there's a way to reframe it for every person part of this right now, right? Reframe it for yourself where, oh, it's not about me. Let, let me take that, those two comments. Maybe they happened a week ago and maybe today no one showed up. But have those two comments with you. Print them out, right? Remind yourself and carve those new grooves in your brain and, and remind yourself and reframe it that what you're doing is actually impacting other people. And, and I, think, I think when, for me, because I did over a thousand shows live on QVC, that literally, that is what got, we did million dollar hours. We did, I mean, all those things happened. They, while they are super cool and it sounds cool, they never fill your soul. Do you know what I mean? They Nothing still. fills your soul unless you literally take the time and the presence with the thing and the purpose of the thing yes. and, and the, the enjoyment, the blessing of the thing. Like blessings aren't felt unless you get present with them and give attention and sit with them for a while. You know, yeah. no, nothing fills you up. It's like, it's like, if you want to fill up this cup, if I sprinkle some water in it, it's not going to fill the cup. It takes a consistent pour to fill a cup. If you want to feel full, you need a consistent pour of presence and appreciation. You need to sit mm -hmm. and watch that thing and feel that thing. So when you see that positive comment or that beautiful thing your child did, or they walk across the graduation or, or you get the certification, you got to sit with that, be present with it, appreciate it if it's ever going to fall. The challenge is tomorrow, it's an empty cup again. This is why mindfulness is so important. Every day, we've got to do the pour of appreciation and attention on our blessings, and it fills up. But in the morning, we wake up, and it's a fresh day. And so our fulfillment, if we're not careful, if we don't condition it, it kind of goes away every day. And we feel random, and we feel detached from purpose because we didn't give presence and attention to the purpose and the feeling of the thing. This is why our conversation about feeling goals was so important the last couple of days yeah. for those who've been watching. Uh, and it, by the way, if you missed any of these, go to our Facebook group called Growth Day, Growth Day, our, our Facebook group on Growth Day, because the recordings of all these are up only and exclusively right now on our Facebook group for Growth Day. But we talked about feeling the day and the importance of having feeling goals. But I, even as we talk about that, you have to fulfill them each day. You have to fill it up with presence and attention every day. And when you do that, everything shifts. So that's why that practice Jamie had of reading the letters consistently kept her fueled through really hard times, through really hard times. All right, Jamie, last parting words for the day, because I know we're over time. I just want to give you guys a shout out of encouragement and love today. Jamie, tell these people something beautiful. I love you. I love you all. We're all together in this. And that's, I think, the beautiful thing. I want to thank Brendan for doing this morning show as well. You know, this is, this is uh, all of us just showing up, <laughs> yeah. just showing up, right? Just to, to celebrate life, to grow together, to be each other's circle in a way, because a lot of us don't have that anywhere else. And so like, this is a place where we come together and uh, we're keeping it really real. I didn't know I'd be talking about all this stuff this week, but it's live <laughs> and, and it's, uh, unfiltered and unplanned and but with a pure heart to all for all of us to connect together so i want to say thank you to brendan for doing this and also to every single person part of of, of growth day and also part of the community just watching right now a lot of people are on instagram and facebook 
uh, who have still never posted, who have still never engaged. Um, and you belong here uh, just as you are too. And I love, there's a famous saying, um, come as you are, stay as long as you'd like. And that. and that's how I feel about every person live. Right oh, now. I love that. I love that. I love that. Um, we appreciate each of you. Again, if you'd like the replay, it's just go to Facebook, search for our group called Growth Day. Anyone can get in. You just have to ask and we'll let you in. You can watch the replays each day. Um, if you found anything encouraging, you wanted to share this with somebody, please do. Also post this episode on my IGTV, which you can share it from there. Please follow Jamie Kern Lima on Instagram to say hi. And we'll keep you doing this. We're here every day. This is Friday. We're here every day, weekdays, 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'd love to see you. If you want to become a full member of our community and getting live training coaching from the world's best personal development teachers, go to growthday.com and see what all the hot news is all about there. Growthday.com. <laughs> um, with that, Jamie, thank you for bringing some encouragement yeah. and joy to everybody. <laughs> Have an awesome day. Go out and grow, everybody. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs>